you now are doctors Jack and Rexella Van Empe. Hello and welcome to Jack Van Hippie Presents. I don't know when I have seen Jack Van Hippie so excited about doing programs as he has been yeah. recently because there's so much out there connected with the Bible. Now, right up front, I do want to say once again, you can go to our website, www.jvim.com, and you will be able to uh, order the Judeo-Christian Eternal New World Order, which is the seven programs that are so connecting to today and what's happening in this world. And you remember, you heard Jack preaching on it, and you'd like to receive this. Let us know. Order it. That's uh, Jack Penelope Ministries, Post Office Box 7004, Troy, Michigan 48007, or Jack Penelope Ministries of Canada, Box 1717, Postal Station A, Windsor, Ontario, N9A6Y1. And let me just say, Jack, quickly I here. I want to say a word about it. Ladies yes. and gentlemen, every one of those one time was one of the great crusades. Yes. I mean, we had the greatest of choirs, we had the greatest guests. We had uh, Colonel Sanders and everything. And we had to cut all that off because of radio just being a half hour. All of these were at least an hour, hour and a half. And we've got everything that will bless your heart and you can see it all. I can't say how important this is. $200 worth uh, for $60. Uh, it's the greatest thing I've ever done because you are getting one hour to one and a half hour like videos and uh, it, yeah. it is really worth it. Yeah, uh, $69.95 for a great offer like the that. The Bible so, teaching on these covers everything you'll ever want to hear. Yeah, one of them, Jack, that's so wonderful, the startling space, phenomenal. You know, so much is going on out there in space. So much is happening. We're going to talk about that next week, a lot of that. But do make the order, call us right away. And something else, something else. Please write and give us your questions. Everybody has questions about what's happening in this world. Why did this happen, Rick Sala? Why did that happen, Dr. Van Impey? Well, let us know. That's going to be questions. permanent every week for the years to come. Every question you can send us, I can answer. I've got this book memorized, and uh -huh. you'll know what God says, not what men think. All right. Now, this week we are sort of focusing in on Israel and with everything going on with the president uh, moving our embassy, of course, to Jerusalem. There's been a lot of hassle over there, but of course, Israel's always been in the news because uh, Satan hates Israel because God loves Israel. But I'd like to read to you some headlines that are very, very important. Fatah, Israel worse than the Nazis wants to crush the Arab world. Are you kidding? They don't want to crush the Arab world. Going on. If not peaceably, then by force. Allah, drive out the Jews. Now, that was the preacher for the Palestinian Authority saying that. Iranian uh, foreign minister chants death to America, to America, death to Israel, and death to the UK. They're putting us all in one. I'm going to ask Jack in a few minutes if that's right. Will yeah. America and the UK stand with mm. Israel? We'll talk mm. about that. And then I love the intelligence briefing that Jack does. And it has to do with Jerusalem coming up. A cup of trembling. Now I have a question for Jack. Are they living in fear? Are they scared to death over there? Would you be scared to death to live with your neighbors, Syria and Iran and all of them surrounding you and hating you? Do they live like that, Jack? How about it? Well, I'm going to tell you something. People don't know who wrote this book. Oh, we talk about the King James Version, the Doye Version of the Catholic Church. This is a Jewish version from cover to cover. What? Holy men of God spake as they were moved by the Holy Ghost. Now, he's been with me for 10 months. 
and I know what it means to be moved. He guides my thoughts. He's a spirit. But, oh, what a learning. Mm-hmm. The word studies. Now, who wrote this book? The entire New Testament Jews. Look at the names. I'll be proving all this very soon in programs ahead through the Q&As. But wait a minute. Who wrote the New Testament? Christians. Wait a minute. Uh, Eleven of the twelve apostles were Jews. What? Yeah. Only one wasn't. And it was Luke, a Greek, who wrote that and the book of Acts. 66 books, 64 written by Jews. Now, they know every word that's in this book. They know what's coming. They know that the greatest war in history is coming. And it ends with the horrendous battle of Armageddon, the greatest battle in history, Revelation 16, 16. And they know Isaiah 31, 5. When it happens, as the birds flying, so will the Lord defend Jerusalem. The birds flying? What could that mean? Back then it didn't. Now it does. Jets, missiles, atomic bombs, everything flying. And that's how God is going to defend Jerusalem. What? Psalm 97, 3 of fire devours more for them. Who the enemy world? with those birds things. But the Lord defends Jerusalem as they retaliate with those same weapons and they win. That's also what's in this book as we're going to see many times in the next few weeks. All right, Isaiah 66, 15, the Lord will come with fire. Joel 2, verse 3, a fire devours before them. Verse 30 of that same chapter, I saw wonders in the air blood, fire, pillars of smoke. And then Stephaniah 118, the whole land shall be devoured by the fire of his jealousy. Malachi 4, 1, the day shall come that shall burn as an oven. Revelation 8, 7, the third part of the tree shall burn. By these three was the third part of mankind burned. Fire, smoke, brimstone. And Jerusalem is right in the middle. No wonder they're frightened. They know what their Bible teaches. But they also know that the Messiah is coming and he's taken the side of the Jews. Because I'm going to tell you something. There are 4,500 religions in this world man created. There are only two God has chosen, the Jews and the Christians. None other, none other. And I'm going to tell you something. So you anti-Semites, you Hitlers and all the rest who hate Jews, and you Christians, Palestinians even, you hate Jews, you are in trouble with God. Why? Deuteronomy 7.7, 7, mm-hmm. the Lord did not choose you, Israel, because you were the most in people, you're the fewest, but because he loved you, Israel. Now, the Bible says that Israel is the apple of his eye. Oh, he says, I love them. Wait a minute. He says, Israel is my fiance. And then goes on to say in Jeremiah 3, 14, she's my wife. He only uses that to show you love affair for his people, not a sexual thing. And you know, we got these guys today in these Protestant churches that have replacement theology. God threw at the Jew forever. So we now change it. And when one sees the word Israel, they put in his place the Church of Christ. And when they see the word uh, Jerusalem, they put heaven. That is the most stupid, unintelligent thing they've ever done to a holy Bible. Why? Because they're calling God a liar. They say, we're through with the Jew. God says, I will give Israel an everlasting name. You know how long everlasting is? It's as long as you get eternal life when you get saved. If that ends then, so does your life. You might as well forget heaven. They're going to be here forever. Jesus stood here and says, salvation is of the Jews. And Romans 9, 10, 11. 9 is the Jews past. 10 is their present. And it is still blind in many ways as to who Jesus really is. But in chapter 11, verse 26, all Israel shall be saved. 
every Jew, every Jew, because Messiah comes and he sets up the Judea Christian New World Order. That's two religions. And it's going to be something. The greatest revival in history. 144,000 Jewish preachers. Preachers! 12,000 from every tribe are going out preaching the gospel of the kingdom. Rex Sulla, give us that kingdom prayer. Oh, well, it would be the Lord's Prayer. Yes. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. I get the rest. For thine is the kingdom, the power, the glory, forever. Forever. Amen. Forever. Amen. And God means what he says. And all you guys are thinking, you know anything about your Bibles, get rid of your earned doctor's degrees. They're worthless if you are teaching the damnable heresies. The Bible says, now are you listening? And this is um, 2 Timothy 4, 2. Preach the word. Be instant in season, out of season. When they like it, when they don't like it. Reprove, rebuke, exhort with all long suffering and doctrine. Some of you beanheads don't know a thing about doctrine. You call yourself Christian ministers. For the time will come when they will not endure sound doctrine, but they'll be preaching fables, doctrines of damnation, and get ready for the worst doctrines of devils. Christians? Ministers? Yes. And I'm going to spell out who these guys are. And the message is coming soon. All, all the Q's and A's. Send in your questions. I'm going to answer them. I know the Bible by memory. Oh, yes. You know, he referred to this just a few minutes ago. That's our offer for this week. The Judeo-Christian Eternal New World Order. Oh, praise the Lord. Yeah, what a wonderful, wonderful offer it is. Don't put it on. You know, just write to us. Let us know. Or go to our website. Of course, that's www.jbim.com. And say, I must have that video. And uh, you'll not regret it because there's so much on here. Relevant to today. Let me see What's something. Going on? Yes. Uh, before this program ends, I'm going to show you that we are the generation that's going to see it happen. How do you know that? Stay tuned. Amen. Amen. Well, I'll never forget the last time that Jack and I were there. I think we've been there 10 times, taking many, many people with us to Israel. And uh, also had the joy of interviewing a lot of the Knesset members. But I noticed something. The Jews are very smart people. They know the ones that the, the nations around them that don't like them like Iran, like Syria, they know. They know also those who are coming from the north, and they've got to be very cautious about that, too. Well, who's been continuously against Israel? Well, you know, that's been going on with Iran, hasn't it? Our president, you know, and the uh, economic uh, influence that he's had there. Well, let me go on here. These headlines prove it. The, they are. The world is saying it, and they're only quoting the Bible and don't know it. Absolutely. This first headline, Russia, China, tighten ties with who? Iran. Iran. And Russia, stockpiling deadly nerve agent used in Salisbury. China dramatically increases nuclear weapons. There's another one coming in, the buddy of Russia, testing under uh, Jinping, of course, that is the leader there. And China in race to overtake the United States in their artificial intelligence warfare. I never heard of that. Did you ever hear of that? Artificial intelligence warfare. And here's it again. Iran president underlines unity among Islamic countries. They're with them. New evidence, Iran is a huge threat to the world, to the world peace. And then Army of Islam would be world's greatest military. Now, there's 57 nations. Jack, 
57 nations, yeah. army of Islam. The largest armies in the history of the world. Millions, the Bible says 200 million are coming from all those nations. 200 million, the population of the United States of America, to try to wipe out the Jews, and they're going to lose because God Almighty is on the side of Israel. Praise the Lord. Amen, amen. Well, you know what? The United States has uh, our eyes open. Thank the Lord for this president who says we're not going to let anybody get ahead of us with nu nuclear weapons. Here's another headline. U.S. plans new nuclear weapons. New? Whoa. And then going on, you know, our president and our vice president are friends with Israel. Pence visits Israel's capital, and they gave him the largest standing ovation ever there. In history. In history, yes. Again, religious right blessed by Trump, Pence. Trump and Pence. Yes, absolutely. The evangelicals see gains in the first year of the Trump administration. Guess what uh, direction they're going? Trying Wait, to let advance. Me stop right yes. Here, okay. Marcella. Somebody said the other day, "What is wrong with this Trump?" He's out of his mind. Hey, he's got the smartest brain there is. I got 16 doctor's degrees, and he knows as much as any man I've ever heard. As some of you lunkheads is not nothing. I'm making those dumb <laughs> remarks. And when I hear you, I know how stupid you are. Uh, and I'm not, I don't know this man. I've never met him. When I listen to him, I know that he is being led by God and Pence. This is a great Christian man. He's holding Bible studies for the congressmen of the Democrats and the Republicans, and he's holding them for his neighbors. This guy preaches, and he knows this Bible. Maybe he's been listening to me. I don't know. I don't know either one of them. But I know this. He, oh, this president is following his advice. Now, somebody said, what's wrong with this? Trump taking the Christian Palestinians out of there and giving it to the Jews. Because he knows that that's what God says. The Palestinians are going against their Bibles. I know. I've preached to every Christian denomination. I've preached to 15 million. And I know what it is. So listen carefully. The Bible says that this man, Pence, and our president is really helping us. When he wants these immigrants, illegal ones, out of here, he's got brains. Who are they? There are 457 groups coming from around the world. This is the army of the 200 million that are going to march against the Jew. They are anti-Semites. They hate the Jew. Right. And God loves the Jew. She's my wife. And I give her an everlasting name. I'm never going to get divorced from my precious wife, Israel. God speaking, the Father. The Son came and said, I'm going to die for sinners, but I'm going to, as a spirit, be placed by the Holy Spirit into a Jewish womb, the Virgin Mary. And when I come back to set up my kingdom on earth, it's going to be the two religions God chooses, the Jews and the Christians, the Judea, Christian, eternal eternal newer Lord and it's coming and coming soon and ladies and gentlemen if I don't have time today I'll tell you how soon soon but I'm going to try to get it in today yes all right Jack well you know when Jesus comes back Jack the nation of Israel the Jewish people will accept him as their yeah. Messiah that's a wonderful thing that they can yeah. look forward to, Jack. You know, they, he did, they didn't recognize him when he came the first time, but when he comes back, they will. Okay. Could I just go on here about something going on in Europe, Jack? Well, give me that, and I'm going to name all the countries, Lee. All right. I'll tell you when to stop. Go all ahead. right. Well, you know, the European Union, again, is standing with Israel, along with the United States, with Israel. How great that is. Well, something's happening with one of the countries in the European Union that really troubles me. While Christianity dies in Germany, ism springs up in its place. Oh, my. Hey, Rick Yeah. 
the greatest Lutheran country in the world, Martin Luther and the rest, Germany, now has more Islamites, the murderers of history, the terrorists, there than they have German people who are in trouble. I'm going to put it all together in a minute. Yes, those are all the immigrants that have come in and they're taking over. Oh, my, oh, my. And Belgium now is 75% of them. England is overloaded with me. You don't know what to do with them. But we got a man who says, no, you're not coming. And you dummies say, oh, yeah, that guy doesn't use his brains. He's the only guy that's got brains around our country. Well, here's another country I'm very concerned about, and that is Turkey. The president, Erdogan, and Putin denounce Trump's Jerusalem. Ooh, I'll put it all together in a minute. Hey, keep going. Yeah, quick. yeah, Putin, of course, is Russia. Jerusalem decision. Oh, we know what's going to happen. I'll let you do this, Jack. All right. Let me give you the outline of the nations that are going to war against the Jew. Ezekiel 38. The word of the Lord came unto me, saying, Son of man, set your face against Gog, the land of Magog, the chief prince of Meshach and Tubal. And prophesy against them. Who are they? Gog is the leader and could be Putin. Yes. But it's Russia. How do you know? The Magogites became the Russians. And when it says chief there, it's the word Rosh, Russia, Russia. The Russian prince of Meshach and Tobolsk. Meshach has changed his name to Moscow and Tobolsk is southwest of Siberia in Russia. Wow! That's some revelation, isn't it? Now, who unites with them? The kings of the east, Revelation 16, 12, all the oriental nations against Israel. Who else? He just read about Germany. That's Gomer. And now with them having more Muslims than their own Christian Lutherans, they're going to go along against the Jews. The Garma is Turkey. And then all the others, 57 Muslim nations and the whole army is 200 million. What a bloodshed. No wonder they're wondering what's coming. But on the other side is Tarshish and Alliance. That's the English-speaking people of the world. In Daniel, we have the ten toes of Daniel's image. The, uh, the ten toes of what you're seeing flying in my parents' home country, Belgium. Hey, I'm the Belgian Bible bombshell <laughs> in America because I speak up. And right now, 75% of the balloon section of the French are all Muslims. Right here in Michigan, we are loaded with them from Dearborn, Ohio. And there are four laws. It is, number one, you kill your daughter, say it's premarital sex. Number two, you kill all homosexuals. Number three, you kill anyone in the Muslim's religion who says one word against Allah, Muhammad, or the Quran. And number four, you kill anyone who is not a Muslim. And the saddest thing is, oh, we're all in love. Even Pope Francis is saying it. Come on, Pope Francis, get into your Bible. Eight times the Quran says, if you believe that Christ is the Son of God, you'll burn in hell forever. But our new Pope, and I love the old Pope John Paul and Pope Benedict, they were real. But this guy said, I don't even believe in hell anymore. 162 times, get a new Pope. There's never been such a clamor right now in the Vatican magazine by the cardinals of the church saying, we got the wrong man. You know what prophecy says? There will be 112 popes for after Celestine II. And number 110 will be Pope John. Number 111 will be Pope Benedict. Number 12, the one that rules with the Antichrist, Pope Francis. I'm just reporting what the Catholic Church says. And I love my Catholic brothers. But we're all in trouble. Protestantism, 
Seven out of every ten ministers now in our Protestant churches are involved in pornography, according to the Billy Graham magazine. God needs the Belgian Bible bombshell to straighten up this mess, and I'm ready to give my life for Jesus to do it. He's brought me back from the death. I can't have the strength anymore to ever preach again. I can't stand to preach. The boy raised my voice, and I can scream once again. <laughs> Just my old grandpa, Jeff, in uh, Belgium. Every time he was sober up before he became a Christian, <laughs> there were 800 people there, right. 400 men. He pulled every one of them over the counter once and cleaned up. <laughs> That's my background. <laughs> Peter and Jeff. I come from the area there of Ninova, uh, Kent, uh, just all of those places. And I love Belgium. And you got a Belgian in America, and this world is listening to him. Mm, well, you know, as I said, uh, Putin denounced our president for making the Jerusalem decision. But somebody that was very much in favor of it, of course, Netanyahu. You've made history. Netanyahu hails Trump at Jerusalem Embassy opening. Let me just say something. The Jerusalem group loves us so much that when our announcer told her we were coming on, they said, we love the Van Empies. They've been here taking interviews, Rexella, of all the great leaders, Abba Eden and the rest. And they're going to be run four times a week in our station to all this country, all this part of the world. For free! Oh! I love the Jews as much as the president does and as much as God Almighty does. Wow. Thank you. And you know what they said? We're going to do this for Rexella. When our mother was dying, they were telling us here at the home office in, that here in Detroit area. Rexella called her. And she's a Jewish lady and she was so worried about eternity. And Rexella prayed with her. And she says to her sons and family, I'm now ready because of Rexella to see Jesus in heaven fall. Wow. And so they say, we're free. Boy, any other, you guys have a, mothers who need salvation. I'll send a wife. Now we can preach to the whole world wow. for free. That dear, I don't have to buy jets. <laughs> that dear precious little lady has gone home to be with the Lord. And I'm so very, very grateful that God gave me that opportunity to lead greatest to little Christ. so this is the godliest woman God ever oh, created no. I am what I am spiritually because of this woman I mean but you know Jack what you just uh, said just now brings me to the importance of knowing the Lord in this day oh our time goes so quickly it's almost over here oh I gotta but say the one thing that why Jesus is about to come yet oh yes well we're almost okay almost let ready me get that in all right go right ahead Every sign has been fulfilled. And there are only two that still had to be fulfilled. I'm talking about a period of 4,000 years. Every sign, every sign, I got them all memorized. And if you get my Prophecy Bible, I got everything. 150 pages of explanations for everything. It's the greatest thing ever printed because it's not just regular Bible. And it also has the book of Daniel and the book of Revelation, all verse by verse. First you read it, and then you got the explanations. And uh, it's, it's gigantic. But let me tell you this. There only had to be two things that happened. And he said, when you see this, this is the generation that will be alive when I, Jesus, return. What? Learn a parable of the fig tree, Matthew 24, 32. Who's the fig tree? Israel. Joel 1 7, Hosea 9 10. And when you see the fig tree blossoming, becoming a nation, and capturing Jerusalem. Amen. Take them back what was always there. When those two things happen, that's the generation that's going to be alive for Amen. my return after 2,000 years of waiting. 1948. They took to, uh, they became a nation. So we call ourselves Israel. 1967, they said, we now have captured Jerusalem. And that's what all this fuss is about now. I don't care what you say, if you know anything about this, by all you Christians, Jerusalem belongs to the Jew forever and forever. 
and the Christians were the guys who also preached along with the Jews. Sixty-six books here in 64 were written by Jews. I believe God. How about you? Mm-hmm. Who? This generation. We could go home at any time. Get ready. Get yeah. saved. Pray that prayer with me in a minute. He's coming. Yes. That prayer is so personal. It's you asking Jesus to come into your heart. Will you pray this prayer with Jack? Just say, Lord, please forgive me of my sins. Jack, come into my heart. Oh, Lord Jesus. Your book says, at the name of Jesus, every knee shall bow, every tongue shall confess that Jesus Christ is the Lord forever. And that's the one who died on the cross for you. The Bible 400 times says there is no other way but Jesus. I don't care what all the man-made religions say. Jesus, only Jesus. At the name of Jesus, every knee shall bow. Philippians 2.10. Right now, if you'll call him and ask him in, you'll be ready for heaven. Father and Jesus. I'm asking you to come into my heart right now. Thank you for the cross. Thank you for your shed blood that washes away every sin I've ever committed. No, I need you, Jesus. Please save me now. I want to be ready for that great moment when you arrive to set up that glorious Judea Christian New World Order. Prepare me, Lord, by coming into my heart. Amen. Amen. If you pray that prayer, please, I'll write to me. All right, go to our website, www.jvim.com, or write to me, Jack Benefit Ministries, Post Office Box 7004, Troy, Michigan, 48007, Jack Benefit Ministries of Canada, Box 1717, Postal Station, A. Windsor, Ontario, N9A61. I want to send you first steps in a new direction. Hey, we do have an 800 number also, or give us a call and make sure this gets into the mail as you walk with the Lord. First steps in a new direction. Or if you want to order the Judeo-Christian New World Order, let us know. We'll get it in the mail right away. Are you going through some tests in your life? I want to leave you with this thought. When Christ rules the heart, peace reigns supreme. We'll look forward to being your home or wherever you watch this program or wherever you're at listening to this program. We'll look forward to being with you again next week. Until then, remember, God cares for you. So do we so very much. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.